In physics, where the particle is located by the radial distance r from the fixed point and by an angular measurement theta to this radial line, just like in this case, there is a radar and there is a rocket and this rocket position is fixed by a distance r and angle theta will require polar coordinates. So what is polar coordinate? We'll try to understand in the basic theory. And then I will also give you a couple of problems to solve based on polar coordinates. So if we have to measure in terms of x and y the position of this rocket, how will we measure? I can say that x is equal to in terms of r, I will say it is r cos theta. So x it will be equal to r cos theta and y of this rocket is equal to r sin theta. So y will be equal to r of sin theta. So position vector can be represented in this particular form which will be equal to x i cap plus y j cap and it will be equal to r of cos theta i cap plus r of sin theta j cap. So this is how it will be measured and I can also write down, so this is where I will introduce the polar coordinates. So I can also write down this as r vector, which is the position vector of the rocket will be equal to r, which is the magnitude into cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap. So this is how I will, I can write down this particular thing. And clearly you can see that in the brackets, we have a unit vector. Clearly you can see that this is a unit vector and because unit vector is whose magnitude is 1. So unit vector is magnitude is 1. You can clearly see cos square plus sin square is equal to 1 and obviously it has some direction. So this is a unit vector whose magnitude is equal to 1. So I can say this unit vector is cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap. And this unit vector can be denoted and we'll name this unit vector a new unit vector because till now you have studied i cap, j cap and k cap. Now I will introduce this r cap. This unit vector is a vector whose magnitude is 1 and is in the direction of this radial or in the radial direction. So clearly a unit vector which is in this particular direction. So let me just extend this. So in this particular direction, I can say this unit vector is R cap. So R cap is nothing but cos theta I cap plus sin theta J cap in this particular denotion. So if I differentiate this unit vector and first we'll understand this thing that this unit vector is not constant because this theta is constantly, this theta is constantly changing and therefore this unit vector is not constant. Just like I, K, I cap, J cap and K cap, these were constant unit vectors whose direction did not change. But here, because of the theta, the direction is changing. So if I differentiate r cap, d r cap dt, I will get something as minus of sine theta i cap, minus of sine theta i cap, plus cos theta j cap into d theta by dt. So clearly, because I'm not differentiating in the term in terms of uh, theta. So clearly dr by dt by applying chain rule dr by d theta into d theta by dt. So we will have minus sine theta d theta by dt i cap plus cos theta d theta by dt and therefore I have taken d theta by dt outside. So clearly now you can see that differentiation of this is some vector which is perpendicular to this vector because if you take a dot product of this cos theta sin theta plus minus uh, cos theta sin theta plus sin theta cos theta will be equal to zero and therefore this unit vector this unit vector this is also a unit vector and this unit vector is perpendicular to this r cap and we will call this as theta cap so theta cap will be equal to minus of sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap and clearly because this is perpendicular to this i can say that uh, this unit vector here 
will be in this particular direction so r cap is this and then there is a perpendicular direction and i can say theta cap is in this direction uh, where i is negative and obviously j is positive right so clearly this is theta cap so this is two vectors which is very 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 important so now i will just summarize what i have written down over here is there are two vectors so in general if you see if i actually have to say let's say this is a let me just rub this so now let's say that a particle is moving along some curvilinear path and we have a position of the particle as r then clearly this direction will be defined as one uh, radial direction and another direction perpendicular to this will be defined as tangential direction which i will denote by theta cap so r cap will be equal to cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap and theta cap will be equal to minus of sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap so this is how i will denote two vectors and now as we have discussed as in any case just like x and y we have two directions and now it is very interesting because now for any curvilinear motion we have two directions one is the radial direction the other is the tangential direction and we have clearly seen that differentiation of dr cap by dt is equal to d theta by dt multiplied by theta cap so clearly this is what we have seen and let's differentiate this also so we'll also understand because these are basic things d theta by dt what it will become minus sin theta so it will become minus of cos theta d theta by dt i cap and then again minus of sin theta d theta by dt j cap and clearly we will have minus this was r cap vector cos theta plus sin theta so it was an r cap vector into d theta by dt so i can say d theta by dt and therefore we have this as a differentiation so these are the four quantities which is important and i'm just uh, putting it into bracket the first quantities are simply r cap and theta cap and the second quantity and this is something which you can skip also but for all those who are preparing for olympiad this can be a very very important concept the second one is this dr by dt this is again an another concept which you should remember and the last one is d theta by dt this concept is important so these are the three things which are important for us going ahead now once we have known this i can easily differentiate uh, this vector i can now start writing things in this format r cap is r magnitude into r vector uh, this is the radial vector and therefore dr by dt which is the velocity in this direction dr by dt is equal to this if this is changing because in most of the cases in general cases i am assuming that this is also changing so i will say dr by dt into r cap plus it, this is also changing so r is constant so once i will differentiate this and in second i will differentiate this so dr cap by dt is what it is equal to d theta by dt into theta cap so clearly what does this indicate is if we differentiate this position vector so if we differentiate this position vector we will get two vectors one along the radial direction and the other one along the uh, perpendicular or the tangential direction so if i want to indicate it i will get one along this particular direction which is nothing but dr by dt the rate of length change and what i will get velocities component along this is r into d theta by dt we know is omega so 
r omega which is the rate of change of this particular theta so we have two things and till now we have studied only r omega because we have assumed in circular motion that uh, this radius remains constant if it will be constant then dr by dt will become equal to zero so this is a general differentiation and similarly if we move to acceleration and if i want to differentiate this you have to actually see for yourself there will be four terms of acceleration and this is a theory you can even wish to skip if you are interested then only do this so now we'll talk about acceleration so acceleration or d square r by dt square will be equal to here it is first term d square r by dt square r cap so this is a differentiation of uh, the radius itself so if it is changing and accelerating in that direction so it will be because of this plus there are two terms so i will differentiate the second term also so dr by dt and r cap differentiation we already know that r cap differentiation is d theta by dt dr by dt into d theta by dt and theta cap so this is differentiation out of these two and now we'll differentiate this now there are three terms so we'll actually get uh, three differentiation so now let me just because you will sum will summarize everything right so this will be equal to dr by dt into d theta by dt into theta cap so obviously we get the same term here the first one now the second term if i leave r and differentiate uh, only uh, d theta by dt so it will be equal to d square theta by dt square which is nothing but alpha and theta cap plus the last term which is r is okay d theta by dt is okay and i differentiate this unit vector which will give me minus of which will give me minus of d theta by dt d theta by dt into r cap so clearly you can see that this and this so first we have three terms one two and three and clearly these two terms will will combine and it will be nothing but it will be equal to d square r by dt square minus of r omega square clearly you can see you have already studied that d theta by dt was omega omega square r and this is along the radial so along the radial the acceleration is negative because of omega and uh, d square r by dt square is something which is new for you because we have not studied when length is also changing okay so this is how we'll differentiate and put these two terms and now we'll have along the tangential direction we will have along the theta cap we will have dr by dt into so 2 into omega into dr by dt plus we have r into d square by uh, d square theta by dt square is nothing but uh, its rate of change of omega and this is r alpha which you have already studied and we have theta cap this is a new thing which we'll study later and something sometimes you also will hear this term as coriolis acceleration of force so this term will lead to that and we'll talk about that later but now if i actually summarize there are two acceleration vectors in this picture we'll summarize there are two acceleration vectors right one acceleration el along this there are two so one along this which is positive which is d square r d square r by dt square and along this is omega square r which you have already studied in circular motion now tangential we again have two acceleration one you have studied which is nothing but r alpha and the second term you have not studied which is 2 dr by dt into omega so r cap i am just uh, r dot i am writing dr by dt is can be written in this particular form so 2 r dot omega which is 2 dr by dt into omega okay 2 dr by dt into omega 
So these are the terms which you have to understand and these are the acceleration and there are a lot of geometrical meaning also I'm not going right now into detail because uh, already this is too much for all of you. So please go through this theory in detail and try to see if you have got something out of it and then I'm giving you two questions which we'll discuss in our uh, next class. So just take a snapshot of this. There's a rocket which is moving and you have to just find acceleration and velocity of this rocket when you have r given to you you have theta given to you and uh, you have acceleration along a b given to you right so basically along the radial direction there is an acceleration which is given to you okay so that is uh, what is given in this question take a screenshot and try uh, to attempt this question on your own and the second is pretty simple that uh, there is a car which is moving along a straight line with a speed of 90 km per hour and you have to find the speed or velocity along the line AB and corresponding omega. So I will just discuss this in our next lecture. I hope everyone is enjoying and uh, having fun with physics. So I will start calling you Newton, my dear Newtons. I hope everyone is, every Newton is enjoying this physics with me. So thank you very much. Please share it with as many Newtons as possible. And uh, if you are a Newton, you will definitely like this video. See you soon.